everyone, this is Dial 20 and welcome to episode 70 of Dial 20's Let's Play series, where today, I think I've come up with a way to automate yeast using mostly just vanilla and new metacraft. Um, I'm, I'm currently on a let's try to automate the mod with just the mod kind of kick, and I'm just curious to see if I can pull it off. Uh, so we're going to see what happens. Now, are these guys here for a reason? Probably not. Okay, good. They're not. Uh, so let's set this up. Probably under here, just because it's already underneath a little automation thing. Uh, I moved, you know, basically everything that I had set up a minute ago. And there's a good reason for it, and I will show you what that is in a minute. Uh, so effectively, what I'm going to want to do here is we're going to want to have a liquid hopper facing this way, the omnidirectional hopper facing that way. We're going to want the two repeaters again and this one we don't want any delay at all this one we want a little bit of a delay you can tell i worked on this a little bit between episodes can't you all right uh you're gonna have the sensor boop, set up in uh one area of one entities so that he emits a redstone signal um only when he's supposed to now you still have your low signal setting you still have your high signal setting that's cool um so then when there is some sugar hey what happened what did you go into the hopper you did go into the hopper okay cool something here oh you know what it might be the wrong direction there we go sweet okay um so then you this and you've got your dispenser upgrade looks like the dispenser upgrade might need to be removed and put back in in order for it to work now i've noticed that every now and then this thing winds up dropping two i don't think that's a problem for us i think that's okay worst case we might wind up voiding just a smidge of sugar, and I'm I can live with that. All right. So next up, right? Let's get water into this thing. So we're gonna want a sink, probably. And yeah, I know I said I was gonna use. Don't worry about it. We're just getting water. Um, and what I'll probably set up is just a quick laser node. Does that sound cool? So on the down, you can extract. Uh, and then on this side you can insert and we might want to speed upgrade that does that not oh that's items haha <laughs> there's your problem sweet we might want to speed upgrade that a little bit some overclocking so on the down why don't you overclock yourself hey i said overclock there you go all the waters keeping it stocked sweet now the next trick that I've got ready for this, is I got myself a liquid hopper with a bucket of yeast in it, okay? Now this one also needs a dispenser upgrade because what the dispenser upgrade will let you do uh, will suck in any fluid block at the input side of the hopper and place down any fluid at the output side. So by using a dispenser upgrade, it lets you interact with the world, okay? Um, cool. So I also, in the mode here, instead of empty out tank, I want to put it on leave 1,000 millibuckets in tank. So basically, I just took one of my buckets. You can see I was playing with this between episodes, but I took, you know, one of the buckets of yeast and, and put it in there, okay? So now, for the cool part, what I can do, and you can see again, I was playing with this between episodes, just place a basic fluid tank underground, okay? Watch what happens, okay? Um, we should be prepared to see this a little bit like this. Okay. Um, so I'm going to place my yeast here. Okay. Um, and then watch what happens. So currently we have 6,000 in the tank. Correct. So if I put four sugar in here, we should wind up with four more buckets of yeast. I might need to redo this the dispenser upgrade. Okay, it worked. 2000, okay, yeah. 
Cool, 10,000. Perfect. So it worked, except this guy somehow wound up getting an extra signal. Maybe I don't want a delay on this guy. Or maybe like a shorter delay. Would that make more sense? Because we want to make sure that he doesn't place fluid in the world unless there's sugar for sure, right? That seems better. And then we should be in a better place now. Yeah, 14. Nice. Now remember, there's always going to be 1,000 buckets left in here. Well, 1,000 millibuckets. One bucket left in here because the mode is leave 1,000 millibuckets in the tank to filter. So by having it on this mode, it'll never remove the last 1,000, meaning that it'll only accept yeast culture. It'll never pull in water. So hey, that's kind of cool, right? Not too shabby. We're going to have to babysit it a little bit. We might have to tweak the redstone timing a little bit. We're going to have to play. We're going to have to play because, you know, but maybe this will be good. Maybe it won't. We're just going to have to keep an eye on it, right? Um, so if I threw three more in here. Is that cool? I think that's cool. I mean, it seems to be working. It seems to be working. That's neat. All right. So, uh... If you think about it, what this means now is you put iron in, or you put sugar in here, and you will get a bucket of yeast. That is the crafting process that we just designed and created. So that's kind of cool. Um, so realistically, right, what we could do is we could have a crafter. I think we're gonna want to set you like that, and some cables. This dire bad at placing cables. They're so tiny. It's not my fault. Okay. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I can filter you to just sugar. Is that what this is for? The sugar. So he's no longer triggering on me. Well, no, he is. Okay, never mind. He is triggering on me. Yeah, I don't know what that's for then. I mean, that's cool. It kind of worked. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, it's working, so I'll take it. Yeah, even though the water is already there, it still did the yeast thing. So maybe that'll be okay if there's occasionally water there in advance of the yeast. Maybe this triggering of water placement is like making it update or something. I, I have no idea. We'll figure it out. We'll just we'll just play it by ear. It's probably forcing a block update, and that's what's causing it to trigger. Um, so yeah, long story short, I think we're okay, even if a little bit of water goes there in advance. Maybe. Guess we'll find out. I was hoping this would be a filter of, of sugar, but I guess not. How is it that I still have not taught this thing how to make external storages? Dire please. For real though, dire please. Uh so what if we went down here for this? Pretty safe, right? And if I put you on fluids mode, boom, works for me. Easy peasy. Okay, so now um, if we checked our fluid thingy, which I think we need to do by borrowing this for a sec. What is it? Shift right click? Mode fluid? What we should see is we have access to yeast. Cool. Um, and then what I could do, what I could do is pop back home through Midway Station. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Uh, and then we just say, hey, I want yeast, right? So my recipe for yeast is... Eh? But I remove these guys, and I remove this, and it basically says one sugar turns into one yeast culture. Okay. So then we pop back to Midway, and we Metacraft, and into the basement. 
And what we do is we put this in here. And now if I have yeast and I control shift click and I want two buckets worth, start. Ah, how cool is that? Tell me that's not cool. I dare you to tell me that's not cool. If you say it, you're lying. If you say it, you're lying, because that is cool. Okay, I'm down with that. I like that. I think that's good. All right, so that's my yeast setup. Um, so now we wanted to use yeast to make ethanol, right? And all we need for that is yeast plus potato. Poisonous potatoes are better. Uh, or we could use apples, we said, right? Yeah, apples are kind of the best way to go. So let's go with apples. And that's going to be in a thermo pneumatic doohickey doohickey. Thermo pneumatic processing plant. Boom, boom, boom. Done and done. Cool. Now, in order to use these to make ethanol in a thermo pneumatic, we only need a heat level between 30 and 60. Hey, that's kind of convenient. Um, because that's the thing that we had already. Uh, didn't we have sulfur? We use we didn't use this for the one upstairs, but like this is the same heat level that we needed for the other guy, right? Um, so what if we set up this in the corner here? So maybe this corner could be my processing for uh, plastics. That sounds cool. Uh, so here I'm going to want to export bus you. And you're going to be uh, yeast, but in fluids mode. So you should be able to. Yes, excellent. Cool. So he's going to keep yeast in there. Perfect. Uh, now, if we wanted to, we could speed that up just a little bit. And we should probably throw a crafting card in there so that he knows if you run low on yeast, just make more. Cool. Okay. Sweet. That is working. That is actually working quite well. All right. Now uh, we want apples in there. And let's try this sulfur trioxide bucket, because we didn't actually try this last episode. But if I pop you here, are you going to, like, raise the temperature? Oh, <gasps> you do. Well, would you look at that? Mm -hmm. That is neat. I like that a lot. So if I threw apples in here now, you should be able to make what I need you to make. I believe. I do believe. Sulfur trioxide has a heat property of 45 degrees C. So he's like barely keeping him above 30, but it's above 30. So yeah, I'm down with that. And now you're making ethanol. And by the way, I can absolutely speed you up with some speed upgrades, but I, I, yeah, I remember them being tricky-ish. Maybe I can speed you up with speed upgrades. I'm not actually sure. All right, so let's throw um, not an ME export bus, but an exporter. Boop. And you can do apples for me. Does that sound cool? Yeah. Now we're cooking. Uh, so we've got the yeast coming in. You should be auto crafting yeast. I would expect. Can you not auto craft yeast? I would think you can. I guess we'll find out. Worst case, we could, like, you know, set something up to do other auto-crafting. Let's just check if for some reason that there is a craft. Oh, yeah, processing two. Processing two scheduled to be. Let's cancel you and see if that makes him behave a little bit better. Does this thing have a wireless version of... Uh... Oh, yeah, it does. Cool. Sweet. I guess we'll see what happens. At some point, it should work.
We have sugar. We have a decent amount of sugar. We'll have to automate it at some point if we want to. So anyway, that's ethanol. Uh, so now if we want plastic, right, because that's kind of our end game goal here, plastic sheets, uh, what we're ultimately going to need is molten plastic, which is a combination of biodiesel and charcoal, right? So we're going to need to get to the biodiesel, which is uh, ethanol, which I now have, and seed oil, right? So yeast culture is done, ethanol is done, vegetable oil is what I was going to go with. And that's going to basically be any vegetable. Uh, and you get 20 millibuckets per, uh, or 50 millibuckets per seed. So how are we for seeds? Is there anything seed-wise that we have a lot of? I mean, a lot of is kind of a stretch. We never really automated any kind of farm. And maybe we should in order for this to work. Um, now, if we want the seed oil or the vegetable oil, um, it's a thermodynamic process, but it needs pressure. So we're going to need some kind of pressure generator here um, to make this work out. Okay, so that's good to know. I wonder if there's a way. Hmm. I'd like to have like a dedicated pressure maker, but that's going to be a little tricky. But we could probably pull it off. So we're going to need another thermo dude. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Look who's here. My old friend. Huh? Mr. Annoying. What are you, you, you came into my basement? How rude could you be? While invisible, no less. While invisible comes into my basement. Just not cool. Just not cool. Now, are you export busing the yeast? I guess you're doing it? I guess you're doing it? It might be because it's going in here that it's not counting as completed. And that might be the problem. Um, that might indeed be the problem. So what I should do is make a fluid interface. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just because it's going into the tank with the external, it doesn't count as being completed. So that's your problem. So what I'm going to want to do is make this a fluid interface. Okay. Um... And this can be the external storage dude. But I'm going to want to filter fluids as yeast. And that will be whitelisted. Okay, so you're only allowed to have yeast in here. And then you're going to fluid interface. And that should be cool. Now, if I cancel you, what should happen is that should be groovy now. So if I wanted four of these, nice. See how it's working? Uh, and then the fluid is going into the bucket or the tank eventually, but then it's getting pulled out for the machine that needs it. Got it? That's cool. That works. You get it all? Zero point eight buckets remain. Huh. Wonder if it's because this guy stole it. Shouldn't it? That would be just a weird issue. Eh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Now oh, look, there's more yeast coming in. Um, let's wait and see what happens if it gets stuck again. 
I had to figure out pressure for this guy. So if I popped up here... Let's say we wanted to get pressure down here. Uh, that should be doable. Yeah, I don't see why not. We'll probably want to have multiple pressure lines at some point, right? At some point. But for now, we want to just keep it simple. Crafting. Okay. So let's put you away and some of these buckets that we don't need so many of. And we don't really need the sugar anymore. And we're going to want our exporter. Because you're going to be exporting probably seeds. But we're probably also going to need to do something about automating seeds. And then I'm going to need more tubes. Okay. Uh, and then let's connect you to the back here. That feels like a good point. Now, what's also nice about um, this whole setup that we've got going on here. Let's see. Um, yeah, it should be fine. Is that... This guy, this pressure chamber, who has a decent amount of pressure inside him, actually has a lot of air in it because it's so big. So we won't lose too much when we bump this up. Right? So this should quickly hit and stabilize. And as a reminder, in order to make vegetable oil, we need at least two bars of pressure. But it doesn't hurt to have a little bit more. So now we connect you up, and we say put seed in, and we connect you up. And then you should be getting uh, vegetable oil now. Hooray, vegetable oil. Nice. Okay, cool. And at some point, we'll like sit down and decide, hey, was this a good way to go? Or should I have just gone with copper or not or with uh, with with oil? Eh, we'll find out. So that's neat, right? Now, should I put these two next to each other? Maybe, maybe. I was going to have one in the middle, but I don't know if they can auto-eject to their adjacent sides. So maybe we just move this guy over. Um, moving him over will not be as easy as it sounds. There we go. Perfect. Ish. <laughs> we're gonna have to reach we're gonna have to do a little bit more, but it'll be fine. It's fine. Hey, don't do that. You were supposed to do that. Now did you guys all oh made a little bit of a mess. I think it was one click, is that what I determined? All fixed. All fixed. Mess is resolved. And then we do this, and then we do that, and then now you're making more vegetable oil for me. Nice. All right, so we've got our ethanol production uh, just coming in fine. Are you having a problem? You shouldn't really be having a problem. That stuff should be keeping you at the right temperature. Are you not? I thought you would just keep it there. Maybe something funny happened when he spilled? Why are you at 27C now? That's a really good question. I might need to put my vortex tube down here. And because we just brought pressure down here, that's probably fine. So can we just make another vortex or do we still have one? But uh, the problem's gonna be that I want to limit it, right? Um, so let's get one of those limiter dudes again. What was it called? Regulator module? Yeah, regulator module. 
That's going to need two of you. Going to need one, two of you. And I'm hoping that I can put you, like, right here. Do you think I can do that? In before I have to move this guy again. I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, no, that didn't sound like a good plan. Okay. Um, so what I can do, this is going to be a little bit of a trick, but it should work, is if I put a regular reader module here. Really? Can I put you... If I put you here... Nope. Okay. And then I want to give you a redstone signal of 14, right? Cool. Is that good? So he gets 0.3. Okay. And that's right about where he's going to stay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I can use iron blocks to transfer heat. And they get hot? Is that still the is that still the case? So you're at 19C and you don't seem to be getting hot. Maybe compressed iron. Uh let's check out heat properties. Because there are blocks we can use to transfer heat from one location to another. I know that for sure. I just need to figure out how to do it now. You used to be able to use iron blocks, but maybe not anymore. Uh Compressed iron off. Yeah, maybe compressed iron blocks would be the way to go. Let's make some compressed iron, because I think we're getting low on it anyway. So give me a stack more of it. Did I never set you up on the down? I guess I didn't. Extract eight. Oh boy, what do we think this is? If this is north. And then you can extract eight at a time, and on the down, you can insert. There you go. And we can absolutely set that up with automation and refined storage in a bit. So if I put you here, aha, see how you're getting temperature? Nice. Now we may need to, because he will probably, so his north temperature, his south temperature, we may need to bump it up because he's gonna be a intermediary there. Um, so we may need to reduce this value a little bit, the redstone, but let's see where he gets to and go from there. Is that cool? Oh look, the machines are sharing pressure with each other. That's neat. I forgot machines can share pressure. That's cool. Um, so yeah, let's just see how this winds up doing with this vortex tube, right? He might get him to 30. He might not. Mostly because the compressed iron block is going to be an intermediary. But he's pretty close to 30 as it sits right now. So we'll see. I might just move him. They went too high, but that's okay. He'll probably start dropping now. Works for me. Cool. All right, so biodiesel is made in a fluid mixer, and he's going to need two bars of pressure as well. So let's make a fluid mixer. Well, we're missing 12 of those dudes, but not really because we have some. Okay, so fluid mixer, and then there's one other component we're going to need here. Uh, you're missing reinforced bricks. Okay, sorry about that. Cool. So the other thing we need is a turbine rotor, which needs three turbine blades, which is one gold and two redstone. So if we got three gold... 
and six redstone, and we popped them in here, you should have no problem handling that. I like the little door opening and closing lot. Like, that is just cool to watch. Super neat. Right? And then they spit them out, and they come in here. Cool. And again, we can and probably will automate that. Sweet. So then down here, if I pop you down, you should connect no problem and get the same pressure shared, right? Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up laser IO to transfer. Cool. So one, two, three. On the up, you will extract fluids. On the up, you will extract fluids, both of these on white. And then on the up, you will insert fluids. And boom, boom. Vegetable oil and ethanol. Cool? All right. That's pretty good. And then on the up, you're probably going to extract on orange. Okay. And you'll also want to extract that on uh, the item here on up. Let me take these two, by the way. Actually, yeah, we'll leave you because you're just extract. Yeah, that works. Cool. Okay. So you're ready to extract the items on channel white. Okay. Sweet. Look at that. Biodiesel happening. Not bad. So biodiesel is 25 and 25 makes 50. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I call that a win. There's biodiesel for you. And then we can use biodiesel. Uh, we only need 100 millibuckets of biodiesel to make a full bucket of plastic in a thermal pneumatic dude. Now that needs a temperature above 100 degrees C. So we're going to need a much higher um, vortex doohickey to make that happen. Okay. So let's come back next episode to get the plastic cooking. But for now, at least, we have this glycerol, which, uh, by the way, is what you use to make speed upgrades. So, hooray. We're also going to need lubricant, um, which comes from, we can buy it from Amadron. We can use biodiesel with redstone. One bucket of biodiesel equals one bucket of lubricant. So that's going to be a little expensive. Um, we could also just do it with diesel if we find some oil. So that's probably your best bet. Yeah. Cool. But hey, speed upgrades are definitely possible. So let's um, let's let this thing keep sitting here and uh, producing, you know, a bunch of biodiesel for us. Seeds are going to be my problem, I think. Uh, we're also going to need to automate seeds. We could probably come up with something. You know, we could do a phytogenic insulator. We could do that. We could do that. Yeah, I don't see any reason we wouldn't do that. Because wheat can also be used for biodiesel, right? Can't it? Or vegetable oil? So what we could do is instead of exporting this, what we could do is... Let's do this. Let's do this real quick, actually. Because I want, I want this in place properly. Um, so if we got a phytogenic insulator... And then we wanted a resonant, three of you, ready to go. Come on, chief. You can do it. There we go. So what I would probably do is put this one here. And we would want seeds here. And we would want, give me some more cards. That cool okay so on the up we want to extract right on the up we want to insert with a high priority and on the down we want to insert and your sidedness is such that you can instruct insert and extract from there why do you look like you're extracting something? Oh, you're taking the seeds? 
Really? What if I did this? Would that be better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yes. Cool. All right. And then you just need energy, which we can get by way of a flux point. And then you're just going to need water, which we can just get by way of a... Um, you know, if I connected you to you, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, why not, right? If we could make that happen. You to you, and then on the up can be an insert of fluids. Haha! -ha! How cool is that? All right, and now if I got my augment from thermal, so you and you guys, boom and boom, right? So what should happen is when he extracts, his priority should be to insert Does he not want to insert into himself? Why don't you want to insert into yourself? You should be able to do that. So what I could do, am I out of nodes? Was that my last node? Actually, on the up, take this, on the that, but, but, and you can that, and then bind you to here. So now, any seeds you produce will hopefully go into the phytogenic insulator first. Yes, beautiful, see? Seeds, phytogenic insulator first. So what's the chance of this? There's an additional chance of 10. So you always get one, and then there's, an, there's a 10% chance you'll get a second. So that works for me. Okay, cool. And then once these seeds are empty, he'll start sending the wheat in there. Got it? That works, right? That's pretty infinite. That should be pretty infinite. I like that. Okay. Wrapping up point. Double 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. And, uh handle this glycerol and, and turn biodiesel into plastic and all kinds of other good stuff. For now, take it easy.